What's up subscribers, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the quarterly earnings report that Apple just recently announced. But first, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so that you get notifications about our future videos talking about the stock market and personal finances. And while you're down there, if you haven't already, be sure to check out the links in the description to get your free shares of stock from Webull whenever you open and fund your account, as well as $10 of free Bitcoin from Coinbase whenever you open your account and make your first $100 purchase of cryptocurrency. And don't forget to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and to help support my channel. So grab a cup of coffee or your favorite beverage of choice and let's jump into it. As of the market close on Tuesday, July 27th, Apple provided its shareholders with their most recent quarterly earnings report. And in typical Apple fashion, they absolutely crushed their earnings report. In their press release announcing that revenue was up 36% and their services revenue has reached new all-time highs, growing their net sales to $81.4 billion in the quarter compared to $59.6 billion in the same quarter year over year. And of that, $17.4 billion came from their services industry, which was up from $13.1 billion in the same quarter year over year, with sales overall continuing to be led by the iPhone, which had net sales of just under $40 billion for the quarter. And in addition to Apple's growth in terms of sales, the board of directors also announced another cash dividend in the sum of $0.22 cents per share, payable on August 12th to shareholders of record as of August 9th. Taking a look at how Apple's share price has responded to these earnings, we can see that overall, as of the time that I'm recording this video, Apple's share price has stayed relatively flat, trading at just over $146 per share in after hours trading. So with all of that being said, what do I think about Apple stock as an investment? For those of you who have been following my channel for a while now, you know that I love Apple as a long-term investment. And Apple continues to make up a significant portion of my overall stock market portfolio. But despite my love for Apple as a long-term investment, I can't personally say that right now at the current stock price I'm actively adding to my position. But rather I'm continuing to hold on to the shares that I already do own. While I do continue to feel that Apple has growth ahead of it for the future, right now here in the short term I believe that the valuation is a little bit too rich. With Apple stock currently trading with a valuation of just over $2.5 trillion. Now I'm not saying that here in the short term I wouldn't consider buying more shares of Apple if the share price were to pull back. But right now here in the short term with the ongoing market volatility in light of the fears about the recent increase in variants of the pandemic, I simply believe that right now in the market there are some other better investing opportunities in stocks that I have previously talked about here on my channel. But just remember, my my videos are never medical or financial advice. They're merely me researching a company and talking about my opinions about that company based on my research. An investment in Apple, like an investment in any company, comes with risks. So if you're thinking about investing in Apple stock, make sure you're doing your own research before you make any financial decisions. What are your thoughts about Apple stock? Are you invested in Apple? Are you thinking about investing in Apple? What do you think about their quarterly earnings report? And where do you think Apple share price is going over both the short term and the long term? Be sure to comment down below and let me know what you think. And while you're down there, if there are any other stocks or topics that you would like me to talk about in a future video, please feel free to comment that down below as well. As a reminder, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I am not a certified financial planner. I'm a resident physician with an interest in personal finances and investing. Please make sure you're doing your own research before you make any financial decisions. And please be sure to smash that like button and click on the subscribe button for the YouTube algorithm and to help support my channel. Thanks everyone, have a great day.